Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It is currently 9.59pm on Monday, March 1st in New York City, which means we have one minute until we get some Tuesday crosswords. Before that though, let's take a peek at the mini leaderboard from yesterday. So 14 seconds was just barely enough because uh, Amy tells me that Chris turned in a 15 second mini. Then we got the Glorp. We got Bennett nice and early at 19 seconds, very fast. Good to see Bennett on the leaderboard. Stickers. Then I think Amy at 21 seconds. Kate has been at 23. E. Errol. Shout out to E. Errol and Goomba. Uh, Bill Boris. I think Jeffrey was at 29. Herman Chow at 30. So that's uh, 11 people at 30 seconds or under. PB Geckner, who made some excuse in the comment section. You can re read it in the previous video. Time with Chenny at 33. Aero Tangos and Jowen at 39 seconds. Big shout out to Jowen. Um, shout out to Rob Del Rumi, Philly Fom, and Taro Tuna, Lil Sun, and Amy for all going a minute or, or under. And Emerina, I think, uh, outpacing Orioana by just a little bit. It's a pretty good achievement. Shout out to Jay and ABC 104. Michelle Maria BV and Rice Hornet, I wish you were here. Bach Rocks, I think, uh, either does it later or does it on physical paper. So. <laughs> most of the time. Anyway, that's enough of that. It's now 10 o'clock p.m., which means with any luck, we should have some crosswords. So let's take a peek. Looks like we don't yet, but here's a spoiler alert for the Tuesday mini crossword. If you'd like to play along, um, click on the link in the description below uh, and pause the video here. As I... Wait, let me, <laughs> let me pull up this window. There we go full screen it let's center it and now let's oh i should have refreshed probably five here we go we have a tuesday mini all right let's get into it uh suede asada bearer guy uh utter whoops Bears repeating. Oh, oh, um, doctors, beard. There we go. Twenty-three seconds. The crosses are pretty hard today. I'll be part of a Santa costume. What if the person has a beard that is not part of the costume? Checkmate. Uh, bears repeating warrants another mention. I'm not sure why five across is highlighted though. There are a lot of D's and S's in this puzzle, but I don't I don't quite get it. The downs are actually better. Bub for fella is not super common. Doctors, yep, yeah. um, not my favorite mini of all time. But let me know how you did. Hopefully you did better than 23 seconds. I suspect that Chris, the Glorp, PB Geckner, lots of folks probably have a, a good shot. But now for the main event, which is the Tuesday Daily Grid, which is by Ross Trudeau today. So Ross Trudeau is a very familiar name. I think he's quite a common constructor. I mean, he appears on the New York Times quite quite often, um, perhaps even this year, earlier this year. Anyway, here's a spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Puzzle, however, does require a New York Times game subscription. And it looks like we're centered. Let's get into it. Nova Error, PBS, Homes in Slang, pads, I think. Uh, emanation from Barney Gumble on The Simpsons, and attends to one's mental health, say. Like a rumpled bed. Unmade, maybe? LA School. USC. Last in the series, Nth. Participated in a stock exchange. Uh, don't know. Dragon Ball Z genre. Anime. Boiled down. Uh, not sure. And before to poets, that's air. Some Russian vodka informal. That could be Stoli. Yeah, I think this is Sid the Kid, maybe with a Y. Well, the company that style, uh, styles its name with an exclamation point is Yahoo and Drown One Sorrow. Here we go. Hothead is stone. Sorry, yeah, stoner. Lead into correct. Uh, don't know. Logger or IPA? Question mark. James Bond genre. Uh, spy something. Sure. Like a brooding teen, maybe emo. Lose after being way ahead as a lead. Blow. Vitamin that could also be a bingo call. Maybe B10. Hot fudge or caramel sauce, not sure. I goof two cares. Hardens. Sets, maybe? Like a contract that's said to not be worth the paper it's written on. I don't know. I want this to be so sue me. Ew, you could have kept that to yourself. 
Oh, this should be TMI, so maybe it's B6. Still fits. Uh, not like that, though. The E of QED is Erot. Disconcerted. Not sure. I can hear you, you know. Um, maybe Ahem? Do an impression of Mimic. Kind of Daisy. Oxi. Nothing's broken. I'm okay. Lion colored. Tan. Neat or on the rocks? Question mark. Gen Xer, maybe? Increase in number of teams in a league, etc. Expansion. Yeah. Votes for Yaz. And makes a boo boo. Airs. Thanks, but no thanks. I'll pass, maybe. Feud with Spar. Salinger Heroine. This is Esma, I think. Druid, e.g. Kelt. Neener on the rocks. Part of a wintry mix. Sleet. Yep, there we go. Step between ready and fire. Aim. Ja Jaegermeister Fireball. Question mark. Keep blank on. And I? No. Look after. Tabs, maybe. Begrudgingly accepts. Eats. Chow down on in modern slang. Don't know. Perfumery sense. Uh... Not sure. Part of ESL. English is a second language, so which one is it? This could be Steam. Hanna Barbera is a one time cartoon company. I didn't realize I went out of business. Woman's Health Doc, OBGYN. Shout out to uh, the Lil Shim. Chicken broth or beef bouillon? Question mark. Common text in AP Latin. Star Wars pilot who, despite his name, flies with a co pilot. Han Solo, that's a nice clue. Elitist. Maybe Snob. Collar, not sure. That could be Nab, I guess. TV comic with a joke Seth can't tell segment. I don't know. Let's put Nab here and Snob. Emanation from Barney Gumble. Uh, I don't know. Attends to one's mental helps. health. Stays sane. Participated in, in a stock exchange. Uh, not sure. Oh, it ends in D. Oil down. Uh, not sure. Disconcerted. Something out. Haven't figured out the theme yet. Scrabble piece. Tile. Desktop debut. iMac. Titter. Tee hee. Um, oh, this is going to be Ice Pick. It's EPs. No kidding. It is? Uh, shots something. Whales and waterfronts produce them. Spouts. Tutors charge. Men tea, maybe? I'm not sure. Like what? Noodles? Limp? Shot selection. I see. Bonkers. Figure at a roast. MC? Kind of not with caffeine. Cola, but with a K, I think. Yeah. Musks. Cookie who... Cookie Cook, who was known as the King of Soul. Wine aperitif. Some serious hosp cases. Not sure. Chicken or beef bouillon. Stock option. That's cute. This is a cure, maybe? That could be Aeneid here. Uh, ODs. And who is this? Myers? Seth Myers. Yeah, Sam Cook. And Looney. Nom, 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 nom. Leading to correct. Autocorrect? Probably. Disconcert. Not sure. Lager or IPA? Uh, those are both beers or ales. Uh, something choice. Draft choice. I see. Uh, disconcerted. Spy fi, I think. Spy fiction. Burp, I see. Uh, boil down. What is this? Split decision. Decoct. Wow, that's an interesting word. Off put. There we go. 445 Tuesday. Some interesting stuff going on here. A lot of crossword E's over here, but let's just take a peek. Unmade, that's fine. Sid the Kid happens a lot. Wait, let me switch to this frame. Here we go. Sid the Kid happens kind of a lot. I don't know that, that much about him, to be honest. Have I clicked this before? No, it's just, it looks kind of purple. American singer, songwriter from Los Angeles. She initially gained recognition as a member of the alternative hip-hop group Coll Collective Odd Future. So she's very young. She's younger than me. I see. So this once means that she, she changed her name to Sid. Autocorrect. That's pretty uh, pretty modern. Tar. Yeah, so the theme here was um, phrases that involve something that sound like decision interpreted differently. I don't know if that's the most elegant explanation of the theme. But draft choice. Yeah, this is like in sports, right? But here it's referencing beer. A lot of kind of Alcoholic ones. Oho is okay. Spy fi I didn't really know about. Not sure if I've heard it before. Emo. Yeah. Hot fudge or caramel sauce being split decision. 
I did get Sosumi pretty quick. <laughs> TMI. That's kind of funny. Another appearance of Quad Erat Demonstratum. Just, um... Yep, so that's definitely something to know. QED. Ahem is pretty crosswordy. Yeah, Oxi. Kind of daisy. I don't know what they look like. I only know them from crosswords, basically. Ah, oh, they look like, um... The platonic ideal of a daisy, I think. Are there other kinds of daisies? Oh, they're yellow daisies. Uh, I'm not that good at the botanical clues, to be honest, but... <laughs> An interesting clue for tan. Lion colored. Yeah, ice pick. Gen Xer is pretty crosswordy, too. Esma is also pretty crosswordy, although maybe it's well known in the popular culture. I've never. Or Esme. I'm really bad at pronouncing these things that I only know from crosswords. Um, what's the What's the Salinger? What's the Salinger work? Um, list of works. Here we go. I should just Google Salinger Esme, right? We should know this. We should know this. Or Esme with love and squalor. It's a short story. Recounts a sergeant's meeting with a young girl before being sent into combat in World War II. Published in the New Yorker in April 1950. Anthologized in Salinger's Nine Stories two years later. Okay. I've only read Catcher in the Rye by Salinger, so maybe I should fix that. So far, I haven't done anything this year that I've said maybe I should read. So, I don't know if it's going to start now. <laughs> Shot selection. Yeah. I like Nom. That's really cute. I wonder how often that it, that's appeared in the puzzle before. Musks. Yeah, so just a little, a little bit of crosswordies, but... Not so bad. Yeah, nab as in like, like collar in the meaning like if you, if you catch somebody, you collar them, you nab them. Barney, Barney Gumble, I guess this must be a regular at Moe's, maybe? USC, shout out to the, uh, the USC viewers. I don't think Lucia watches these, but if you do, shout out to Lucia. Yeah, Nth again being last in the series. I've complained about this already this year. That's okay. Um, stock, like livestock. That's a that's a tricky clue. I think I basically got it from the crosses. Decocked. That's so. I'm guessing the it's like it's kind of like uh, concoct. Extract the essence from something by heating or boiling it. Yeah. I guess I would call that maybe distillation or extraction. Okay, decoct. Good to know. Air is one of the common poetry words that one must know before doing crosswords, along with anon, maybe agog even. Is that poetry? Ian, Aaron for Ireland. Um, oh, Eben for black. Maybe even Inky for black. Stoli is a Russian vodka brand that I've never tried, but I've filled into crosswords many a time. This is an interesting clue for B6. Yeah, these are all okay. This is a nice clue for oral, I guess. It's not a very inspiring fill, but it's a nice clue. Yeah, EPs versus LPs. Uh, LP stands for long play. Shout out to Rice Hornet, who brought it up on a one at all the other day. So you need to know about e EPs are about half length. So either EPs or LPs. Yeah, another yeah. This could have been eyes. But see so as airs, yeah. So this entire this east side is just full of full full of crossword ease. Then T as tutor's charge. I don't really love. I don't really think those are synonyms. I didn't realize that I didn't realize that Hanna Barbera is no longer a cartoon company. Shout out to my OBGYN friends. Colon up with a K. Yeah, but the the cross was fine. So didn't know about Sam Cook. Kier, yeah, like, I feel like, isn't a Kier Royale a thing? I don't really know anything about Kier. Yeah, Kier and Kier Royale. Creme de Cassis topped up with red wine. I feel like you need to be like a... 
like an old person smoking a pipe in the 50s to drink a cure or to order a cure. Do people order cures? If you've had a cure before, let me know. ODs, not the most pleasant fill ever. Anyway, pretty decent Tuesday. I think 445 is pretty respectable on that. Take a peek at the, some stats. Yep, between my best and my average. Shout out to Bennett, by the way, who turned in a, I think it was a 321 Monday. And Bennett's a very relaxed guy, so I bet he did it less frequent, le less frantically than I did. Uh, yeah, I just opened a puzzle that I haven't finished on my phone. And a leaderboard at this early hour. Lots of folks. KFS Venta really breathing down my neck. I didn't do the best job today, I don't think. KFS Venta took full advantage. Stickers, nice and early, shout out to Stickers. Orioana, Ball Don't Lie, Taro Tuna, and Aero Tangos. Everyone turning in pretty respectable times here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, why don't you give me a subscription? That'd be great. I think I'm like 27 away from being able to get a custom YouTube channel name. Pretty exciting if I could do that. Uh, anyway, see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles.